Welcome to the channel to this review video for Battle Mats from Urban Mats. That's mats with a Z, not an S. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, this one stood out to me the most. This one's called Badlands, and the reason why it stood out to me the most is because it's very nice, very generic, not a lot of detail, but a bit of green, a bit of rock, a bit of brown. Because of its nice generic design, it looks tasty as soon as you chuck some scenery down on it, like this. Or like this. The buildings and the battle map blend together very well. Or like this, it's a nice palette uh, surface of browns and greens. So you can put pretty much any type of scenery down on it and make your table look cool without much effort at all. All right, this battle mat is called Badlands and uh, it's going to get the most use. You're going to see it in the most number of games uh, in upcoming battle reports because of its nice simple design and because uh, it makes a very simple surface when you put anything you want on it. Um, but as I mentioned at the start of the video, I've got three battle mats from Urban Mats and I didn't hold back when uh, picking the designs for the other two mats. Because this battle mat is called Dirty Roads. Look at it. It's pretty. Like a Slanesh cultist. I like it. Yeah, I first saw this battle mat on Mini Wargaming. That's another popular YouTube channel. You may have heard of it. And thought, i got to get me one of them. Now, this battle mat will not be used as much as the Badlands battle mat in all future battle reports because it stands out. I can envisage... Lots of different ways of setting this table up, putting a large building in the middle there or using these things either side as buildings, putting walls or farmsteads around the gaps. But I like it. This thing I threw down in the middle of the table really is, is kind of my, my first thoughts for me. I just grabbed some scenery off the shelves, chucked it down and uh, did this and uh, I'm going to um, have fun thinking about what sort of tables, what sort of uh, um, scenarios what sort of scenery I could set up on this battle map because I do spend an extraordinary amount of time, sometimes longer than I do actually writing lists. I spend a lot of time thinking about some of the tables and making sure that they're not the same as ones that you've seen before or that they have a feature in the middle of it or we're fighting for something or over something. There's a reason to be there and that's why in particular I liked uh, this particular battle mat and got one because um, I think it's definitely going to speak to the narrative kind of content that you see in Winter's SEO and um, if you're the kind of player that likes playing narrative games and have uh, a, a point, a reason to fight other than line up two armies and shoot the crap out of each other then you want to get something like this or this this one's called Urban District. It's a city fight map. And just like Dirty Roads, it's got lots and lots and lots of detailing on it. And you're going to want to put your buildings in these spaces and these spaces not in the middle of the roads. So it's one of those mats where you're letting the uh, design of the mat and the features of the mat speak to you. Tell you where you're going to put up your buildings, your barricades, your green open spaces and recycling bins. And when you're done, it'll look a little bit like this. Very, very cool. Uh, as I said before, mats like this won't get out very much, but when they do get out, your scenery, your battlefields will certainly pop. Right, a few more bits of information for you. All of these mats come in 6x4, 4x4, and 3x3 sizes, and they come in these carry bags, which are very handy. You can pick them up, take them round to your mate's house, it's nice, isn't it? Badlands, this mat here, is one of their very new designs. It was just released a few weeks ago, together with a swamp design mat. And Badlands was supposed to be for guys that don't just like plain grassy mats. So they did a mix of dirt and grass. It's supposed to be a very universal game mat, which it is. The Urban District 3x3 mat is very good for Batman and Marvel games. 4x4 size is good for Infinity, for example. And Dirty Roads is a multi-scale map. It's usable for 28 mil scale and also smaller scales, as I mentioned. Well, the battle mats are made out of this tough neoprene material. Um, it's very hard wearing. It's very durable, which is why I like battle mats. Um, I didn't bother when I moved into my new studio to make 
a new table at all. I didn't bother to sand or flock or spend all that time and money doing a whole new surface. Instead, just got me a crap ton of game mats because they're just, they're just better. And to save so much time uh, doing this, time that can be spent otherwise making video battle reports. Okay, this is the Urban Mats uh, webpage. So where are we? www.urbanmats.com It looks like this. And uh, here's all your battle mats. 70 odd euros a pop. There's Urban District, look. And just looking in their new section, look, work in progress. We're currently working on our first pre-painted terrain set, Desert Rocks. Material resin, 10 pieces of pre-painted resin rocks in one set. So they're branching out. It won't just be mats going forward. There's going to be some terrain coming as well. Okay, so I think we'll wrap it up here. If you're looking for a battle mat, check out Urban Mats. Badlands is very cool. This is definitely Winters Approved. And uh, if you're looking to make a statement, then have a look at some of their very more unique, very special, detailed mats as well. Um, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Happy Wargaming.